Good day everyone. Our topic for this week is estimating the square roots of a whole number to the nearest hundred. Our learning targets. Estimate the square roots of a whole number to the nearest hundred and plot irrational numbers on the number. Okay, let us have this recall. Let us identify whether these numbers are rational or irrational. So Number one, square root of 36, correct, that is rational. Number two, square root of 75, irrational. Number three, square root of 11, irrational. Number four, square root of 35, rational. Now, for rational number, find the exact value. What is the exact value of square root of 36? Correct, six. What is the exact value of square root of 25? Correct. Five. Now, what about the two consecutive integers between which the value of square root of 75 lies? So that is 8 and 9. So let us have the solution. Square root of 75 is greater than, think of two perfect squares. Two perfect squares closer to square root of 75. So those are square root of 64 and square root of 81. Square root of 75 is greater than square root of 64 but less than square root of 81. This only means that square root of 75 is between square root of 64 and square root of 85. Now to get the two consecutive integers Two consecutive integers, when you say consecutive, that means makasunod. Uh, uh, integers, that means uh, whole number, whether positive or negative. Okay? So since this is a, we are asked to find the principal rule, so what we ask to find is the positive integers. Two consecutive positive integers. So I just get the square root of 64 and square root of 81. Consecutive numbers, 8 and 9. So the two consecutive integers between, between which the square root of 75 lies is 8 and 9. So that only means that square root, the value of x square root of 75 is eight point something. Now let us have the the square root of eleven. Square root of eleven is between what two perfect squares? Okay, so that is a square root of nine and sixteen. So you just get the square root of nine and sixteen to get the two consecutive integers, and that is three and four. So that means that the value of square root of eleven is between three and four. Now let us have them on the number line. So the four numbers we have the first one. Okay, so let us have the. Uh, number line first one we have the square root of 36 so square root of 36 what is the value of square root of 36 6 square root of 25 okay so the value of square root of 25 is 5 what about the square root of 75 it is between 7 and or 8 and 9. Square root of 75 is between 8 and 9. What about square root of 11? It is between 3 and 4. So that's it. You just approximate the location of non-perfect square or irrational number. So these are the irrational numbers. We just approximate its locations. Since we only know that square root of 11 is just between 3 and 4, and square root of 75 is just between 8 and 9. You just approximate their location. Now, to approximate further their location, 
to approximate further their location, let us estimate the square root of a whole number or square root of 75 to the nearest 10. Okay. Our first step or rough estimate is that square root of 75 is between square root of 64 and square root of 81 or between 8 and 9. So from here, this is our uh, rough estimate. Square root of 75 is 8 point something. Now we have to know what is that point something. Now to know that 8 point something, all we have to do is to divide the difference of 75, the given, minus 64, the smaller perfect square, which is uh, greater than, which is less than 75. And the difference of the perfect square, which is greater than 75. And the smaller perfect square. Okay. Now, what is 75 minus 64? 81 minus 64, so that is 11 and 70. So just get the decimal equivalent of 11 and 17 or just divide 11 by 70. So you will get 0.64. So that something is 0.64. Round it off to the nearest tenth. So that will be 8.6. Okay. So, square root of 75 is approximately equal to 8.6. Now, next, so that is our first estimate value. Okay. Now, we will use this to find the second estimated value. Okay. So, divide the given by the first estimated value, then that will be our second estimated value in hundreds, rounded to the hundred place. Now to get the final answer, which is the, which is our learning target or objective, to estimate the square root of a whole number to the nearest hundred, okay. So to get the final answer, use the first estimated value and the second estimated value. Get their average. First plus second divided by two. So you will get 8.66. That will be our final answer. So a square root of 75 is approximately equal to 8.66. Let us now plot this on the number line. So this is our rough estimate about the square root of 75 that it is just between 8 and 9. Okay, it is between 8 and 9. So square root of 75 is Okay. located closer to 9 than 8. Okay. It is more than half, which is 8.66. Now let us have a square root of 11. So a square root of 11, our rough estimate is that square root of 11 is between 3 and 4. So we know that Square root of 11 from here is 3 point something. 3 point something, say 3.1, 3 3.2, 3 3.4, etc. But not, but not greater than 4. Okay. Should be less than 4. So, again, to get that. Something, all we have to do is to subtract, divide the difference of 11 and 9. So again, 11 is the given, 9 is the 
uh, smaller perfect square closest to to square root of 11 and then 16 minus 9 so the 16 is the uh, perfect square greater than 11 the closest perfect square to square root of 11 okay then we have 9 so what is 11 minus 9 and 16 minus 9 so that is 2 over 7 so just get the decimal equivalent of 2 over 7 that is now our point something okay so 3 plus 0.3 is 3.3 that is our first estimated value approximately equal to 3.3 now divide 11 by 3.3 so you will get the second estimated value now to get the final answer add this uh, estimated values then divide or get their average and that will be our final answer again the final answer is rounded to the nearest hundred so square root of 11 is approximately equal to 3.32 so square root of 11 is closer to 3 than 4 it is less than 3.5 now let us recall the, the steps that we have okay we have in estimating square roots of a whole number to the nearest hundred first find the nearest two consecutive integers to the radicand then use the formula that will be your first estimated value now to get the second estimated value, divide the radicand by the first estimated value. And then for the final step, get the average of the first and the second estimated value. And you will get your final answer. Now test yourself by solving these two problems. Or estimate the square roots of a whole number to the nearest hundred and plot it at the number. First step is to determine the two consecutive integers nearest to our radical number, which is not a perfect square. Okay, so we have for square root of 5, it is between 2 and 3. For square root of 45, it is between 6 and 7. Now for the second step, for the second step, let us determine the first estimated value. So that is 5 minus 4 and over 9 minus 4. Okay, so that is 1 fifth in decimal, that is 2.2. Let us now repeat the steps in getting the first estimated value of square root of 45. Square root of 45, we know that it is between 6 and 7 or that uh, square root of 45 is 6 point something. So to get that something, we have to divide the difference of 45 and 36 and 49 and 36. Then you just get the decimal equivalent. So that is 6.7. It is our first estimate for square root of 5 and square root of 45. Now, second is to next step is to divide the given number by the first estimate. So we have the given divided by the first estimated value. So that is 2.27. So for the first estimated value, round your answer to the nearest 10. For the second estimated value, round your answer to the nearest 100. Okay. So 45 divided by the first estimated value, 6.7. So you will get 6.72 
rounded to the nearest hundred. So that is our second estimate. Again, for our Okay, for our first estimate value, round your answer to the nearest tenth. For our second estimated value, round your answer to the nearest hundreds. Now for our fi final answer, of course, to the nearest hundred. So for the final answer, just all you have to do is to get the average of our first and second estimated value. Just add the first and second, then divide it by two. So that will be our final answer to the nearest hundred. So square root of five is approximately equal to 2.24. And square root of 45 is approximately equal to 6.71. Now this... To show that on the number line, now let us plot irrational numbers on the number line or let us plot square root of 5 and square root of 45 on a number line. We know that the square root of 5 is approximately equal to 2.24 and square root of 45 is approximately equal to 6.75. Okay. 